The Sony DSR-250 is SPNN's main type of camcorder equipment available to program producers. Because it can use both mini DV and larger, longer length DV cam tapes, it is excellent for making documentaries, recording church services, and other event type shows. This video will show how to set up and operate the camera in the automatic mode. The first step is to place the battery on the back of the camera, remove the lens cap, and turn the unit on. Just to the right of the on-off switch is a three-position switch that moves up and down. The lower position says VTR for playback of tapes, and the upper position says memory for taking still pictures on a memory stick, which SPNN does not use. It is possible to videotape in the memory mode, but the motion will look jerky. The correct setting for videotaping is in the middle at the camera position. From a video setting standpoint, the camcorder can become totally automatic. Start by setting the iris control on the right side of the lens next to the zoom control on the hand grip to auto. Next, set the focus switch on the left side of the lens to auto. Right by the focus switch is one that says ND filter. This should be off unless you are in bright sunlight. The camera will tell you if it is needed by flashing ND on. This means you turn the filter to position one or two. It does not mean the filter is already on. If the camera flashes ND off, it is telling you to turn the filter off. Moving to the side of the camera, turn on the auto lock switch. Once this is done, you don't need to set the focus, exposure, gain, shutter speed, white balance, or AE shift. The camera figures it out for you. Right above the auto mode switches are two auto override switches. One called backlight is for use when you are videotaping a person with a very bright background behind them. When the button is pressed, an icon of the sun will appear in your viewfinder. The other produces an icon of a person in a spotlight and is a way to stop overexposed faces where there's a very dark background. In this picture, the round control in the upper middle labeled monitor is the volume for a small speaker on the side of the camera. When placing the camera on your shoulder, the speaker is right next to your ear. This way you can tell that the sound is being picked up. Just below and to the right of the volume control are the data and audio level display buttons. When the LCD screen on the side of the camcorder is opened, these displays are superimposed over the picture. The displays are not recorded on the tape, but offer information to you while shooting. If you don't want the displays, they can be turned off. By the way, the switch just below the display buttons marked Zebra should be turned off unless you understand how to do manual exposure settings, which we don't cover in this video. The DSR-250 has its own microphone mounted on the top of the camera called the onboard mic. It's a high quality directional shotgun type mic with a wind shield. To set up the audio in the automatic mode, open the cover on the side of the camera. The switches on the left are for the memory stick still picture operation, which we do not use. On the far right are the audio select switches. In the upper position, the automatic level control is activated. In the down position, the levels are set manually by the knobs next to the switches. To the left of the audio select switches are the audio input switches. In the upper position, the front or onboard mic is connected, and in the down position, the rear is connected instead for external. You will note 
There is also a switch marked audio monitor for listening via the small camcorder speaker or the earphone plug. If one or both audio input switches have been set to rear, then you will need to select the type of external input using the three position switches just above the XLR input plugs. Use the middle position for mic and the line position to the left for feeds from a PA system or mixing board. The far right position on the input switch is not used. Marked 48V, it provides power for a condenser microphone. None of SPNN's mics require this power source. Having it on will not hurt our mics, but your recording will have some funny sounds. So be sure not to set the input switch to the far right. This has been a tech tip on how to set and use the DSR250 camcorder in the automatic mode. Of course, if you don't remember from this video how to change the settings to the way you want them, don't worry. The person at the access desk can do it for you. And that's our tech tip. I'm Ed Sanders. Good luck shooting.